Hello everyone, Malekith here and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and this is the Japan campaign. We are currently invading China and the People's Republic of China. So we have three army groups at the moment. We have the main one under my field marshal which is doing this push here into the sort of coastal regions and center. Uh, that's because it has the most supply so I can afford to have the larger uh, division types in there. We have this guy up here who's a specialist in operating with low supply. You can see from his commando trait, he's also managed to gain a hell of a lot more from uh, his work. He's got the much smaller divisions. We can see they're set to low priority, but they are up in effectively the north of China, which has horrible supply. And they're doing reasonably well, mostly because of him, I suspect. And then finally, we have our Marines who did a naval landing here at Huangdao. Uh, I probably horribly butchered that name. I apologize if you actually know how to pronounce it. Um, we've still got a little bit of work left before they're freed up and the army take over their positions, at which point we'll send them back to a port and invade further down. So that's where we're at. Let's unpause and get this going. Actually, one second. Let's have a quick look at my constructions. So we're still making our civilian factories. That's fine. Uh, our actual production. Still got a lot of weapons to make. Everything else is doing okay, ship-wise. Uh, they'll all start finishing up soon, that's good. They are running at a deficit, so they're going to be slow. But, uh, oh well. The aluminium deficit, however, is going to be hitting me as a problem, maybe. We seem to be coping with it for now. Let's have a quick look. Do we get some aluminium out of China? No, we get lots of steel, lots of tungsten, some chromium. No aluminium. We may have to trade for that. We won't worry about it just yet. I'd rather keep the factories building more factories so I can get a little snowball effect on my production capabilities. So the grand plan, someone's asked what's the grand plan, is take out China, then build up, wait for Operation Barbarossa to hit the Soviets, and then we'll punch them in the gut from behind. And then probably run into huge tank divisions and die horribly. But... I don't fancy playing a naval game against the United States, Britain, uh, Australia, the Netherlands, and France. So we're, we're going with plan B. Because if we have a look in our focuses, you see this decision here, northern expansion or southern expansion. So historically they went for the southern expansion, which I believe was the plan of the navy. Whereas we're going for the northern expansion, which was the plan of the army. We don't have oil at the moment. I'm going to be building synthetic factories, which will then sort my oil problems out. But that's why we're building more of the um, civilian factories, so we can actually construct more buildings quicker. Alright, how's it? The line up here is slowly pushing forwards. They're hitting a river, which is probably stagnating them a little bit. Middle's doing well, and... I'm just going to focus on the coast so I can try and free up these marines. Push there. As soon as you push that, this border snaps around and we can evacuate them out. I'm seeing a potentially good opportunity here. They're swinging in a lot of divisions. We might be able to get an encirclement off. Let's take the 10. We need to not get hit by them. Come on, there we go. Push. Before they evacuate these, what is it, 15 divisions?
The AI's twigged, it's reinforcing men into the area for me. They're desperately attacking the line to try and dig them out. Come on, finish this battle. We've got low supply. There's the warning. Oh, hang on. Something with factories. We've got some free military factories. We managed to gain two more. We must have captured somewhere. Um, okay, let's start up production of the light tank. And then put that in like that. Um, right, I'm going to do some trading actually. I'm going to get some aluminium and I'm going to get some rubber. We will trade with... Uh, we'll go with the US. So one factory gets me eight of the resource. Go with Siam. And reasonably close to me is why. Um, right, so if we go back to the production. There we go, so that's gone for like fulfilled so it's only once we hit the ships that we start having resource shortages and I'm absolutely fine with that there's our encirclement marines crush them Right, now we've got a lot of army experience. I'm going to take a look at what we can do with it. So let's edit our light tanks. Got anything else we can throw on them? No, not really. Um, uh, I don't really want to edit too many things. I'm going to put the uh, military police on the cavalry division here once we unlock them my regular infantry okay they've got tanks not really so bothered by that one I guess we could give these guys a recon company an engineer company and some support artillery Other than that, there's not really a lot in there I want to build. Okay, let's pull these guys back now. Ah, military police, there we go. So, now we can actually spend some of this. You. In some military police. I don't think they go in as a... No. And that should let me start picking out certain units. We'll take out four for the minute. Um, disable that. Now we'll rename this theatre to military police. 
They really need a general? I guess we could give them a terrible one. Right. Let's pull them back off the front. So you go sit in that town. You go sit in Beijing. Ah, uh, they're trying to retreat. They're, they're still in fighting. That's why there's um, a problem with them. I'm not sure if you need multiple units on provinces to stop the sort of issue with uh, partisans. I've not really worried about it too much. Okay, Amelia Earhart circumnavigates the globe. She, uh, she didn't die. He doesn't follow history. Right, let's sort the research out. Now, there was something I wanted to do, which was to upgrade the tank. And you... What are we in? 37. Factory output. Construction speed. Go with construction speed for the moment. We'll have someone else do the factory output on the next one. Alright, what are we not producing? Carrier fighters, close air support, and carrier close air support. Uh, I'm fine with that. So the northern front seems to have stalled mostly at the river. Which is not surprising, really. They're suffering a lack of... Uh, what is that? Fighting strength? They're missing towed artillery and support equipment and infantry equipment. We're not producing it fast enough. Probably because we're throwing it at these new troops. So I just noticed a new batch has appeared. Da -da -da. And these ones are actually trained. Excellent. Uh, yep, yeah, they got to... Move to Hiroshima first. I'm going to do actually change where they're produced to Hiroshima. Just so that I can actually drop them straight out of the dock. As soon as they're made. Alright, the Marines are meant to be coming back this way. Have they still got... Yeah, they still had an order. That's what they were following. Okay, let's send them down to here. Infrastructure effort. Alright, what do we want next? Synthetic oil focus? Yeah, we'll head down that one so we get the extra research slot as well. So this produces land doctrine research time. Very nice. Check these seven troops. Nope, they didn't get assigned to a front. On they go. They can join in the push, replacing the Marines on the eastern, front, uh, eastern flank. I'm fine with up here stagnating to an extent, to be honest. Is that fourth unit? You. Fine. Keep pushing for the moment. We haven't got another place for you to sit anyway. Okay, um, resistance daily growth minus 2%. Seems we've got them under control. Excellent. And this southern front is pushing hard. Really hard. 
Uh, and the reason I'm not sending men to this stagnated front is the supply up here is horrible. I'm quite happy to leave this mountainous region just sitting there, starving itself out. I'll swing round in behind them as I need to. Right. Other than you. Let's have a naval invasion. Um, where are we looking? Hong Kong, that's not going to be owned by China. Um, well, I'd imagine it's not going to be owned by China. Let's just go with there for now. That's going to take 20 days. Yeah, there we go. Look, Hong Kong's owned by the United Kingdom and Macau is owned by Portugal. We could have gone to Guangzhou, but um, it's a bit far away from my front line. We'll, we'll hop in halfway down. few reinforcements over there. I'd rather have some more, but it looks like we're not getting it. We're losing a lot of resources, I guess, in the fight. Yeah, they're not producing anywhere near enough. I'm guessing losses have gone up. Alright, factory-wise, let's go. If we have a look at the war, China have lost 393,000 people. We're at 186,000. Pushing forward very nicely up to that river. Right, this southern flank is pushing exceptionally fast. Let's, um, Modify their order slightly. Go for that one. Slowly gaining ground up here. Looks like we're about to push across the river. Looks like maybe they're freeing up troops and pushing them northwards as the borders down here have hit their goals. Oh, our plan's gone up to 70 days. I wonder what changed. I'm sure that's a 20 originally. Maybe I'm imagining things. doing just two divisions created oh we've got factories now what we can do is have another one producing infantry equipment so you can have two you know side by side like this i'm actually going to drop out the fighters
Now we can modify our government. We're at war economy. We can now go to closed economy. Which would... Hmm. No resources will be exported. Thing is, and that's not necessarily a good thing. I'm not going to worry too much about that for the moment. Um, okay. Research. What did we have down here? Ah, yes. Division attack and defense. That'll do nicely. Oh, student movement. All right, we can do the next national focus, which was the research slot. Good, good. So we're heading for Nanjing, which I believe is their capital. was that cavalry division that was still in the front lines they freed up yet it's them where are they oh no that's in Beijing okay stay there well um, we'll drop them in Nanjing when we take it Another research. Right. We're still in 37 for the moment. I'm going to get that anti-tank. Because we're going to need it for the Soviets for sure. These are pushing nicely. I'm liking this front. It's going very well. North, not so much. But they've got a lot less to work with. Okay, five days, four days. Two days. One... Go! Invade, invade! Where did those three come from? Interesting. We'll do is we'll drop them in here behind the marines. Now the marines, let's see, we've got five territories around us. And then the last marine got left behind can hop in on the square and these two can come in and join up with the main force as well
Thing is, what can I do here? Let's be cheeky. You run for there. You run for there. See if we can't cut this off and then we can have this guy run along, capture everything. Sign them for that front line. Oh, we got a navy battle. My submarines found some, I think it was transports. where I wish I had a few extra men. I'd punch across and encircle a lot of them. Right, let's... grab those divisions that are not the Marines. them try and push an encirclement. Ooh, excellent. Right, national focus. Next one is the synthetic oil. Siam is not fulfilling all of our import requests. And what do we want to upgrade? Let's get the next grand assault. Wise, get another one of those out, please. How's my construction doing? Oh, they're starting to come towards the end of the civilian factories. And we've got 34 in operation now. Shanghai's got quite a few people in. Alright, let's then four that. See if we can sneak you in there when no one's looking. All of Nanjing! For the Emperor! Right, you... Come down and suppress them. So some people are asking what's going to happen with Hearts of Iron and me and Chadman. So the plan is that we will do the US and Canada as an allied playthrough. Um, he's not sure he wants to record it because he's still on his hiatus, but he will play in it is the plan. All right, we've got some naval dockyards. Whack them all in there. Not going to make much difference because we don't have the resources, but, you know, whatever. 